Good morning, Jenny. My name is Jacob Bliss and I am a volunteer here at the Cordelia Legal Centre. I am here to provide you with free legal advice, but unfortunately we are not funded, so I am unable to represent you in court. Oh, well, in court well. Firstly, I need to inform you of our confidentiality and privacy rules and regulations. Simply, this means everything we say here today is strictly between you and I. And I have a legal obligation to store your file notes for a matter of seven years from last update. Do you understand all this, Jenny? Yes, I do, thank you. I read recently uh, that a friend gave me an article and said something about the best evidence rule. But I don't know what it is. Can you please explain it to me? Yes, I sure can. The best evidence rule is a rule which says documentary evidence must be the original copy. In saying this, I have gone over the Evidence Act 1997 and have found a piece of legislation which abolishes this rule, provided the original is unavailable. It is under section 105 which says a document that appears to be a copy of an original shall without further proof be admissible in evidence. Do you understand what this means? Uh, not really. What does it mean? Well, it more or less means you have every right to produce your certified copy in court as your proof of identity with your late mother's probate matter. Is that a little bit more clear, Jenny? I do not want you to feel confused at this terrible time and I am here for you to help uh, you understand. Ah, I know what you're saying now. I appreciate it, Mr. Gleason. Please, call me Jacob. Anytime. You're welcome. Well, thank you again, Jacob. Goodbye. Don't hesitate to call me if you have any more questions. Goodbye, Jenny. Thank you.